Instagram right now. Okay, I'm going to TikTok. Live on Instagram. Okay, I'm gonna close this and uh, let's go to the Zoom. Just go to the account and join. Live on Instagram. All right. Three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, economic three sixty CEOs. We are here to help you get that one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars, even a million dollars from the bank. A million dollars even from the bank. Let's see if we can go in and get into Zoom. And hey, thank you, everybody. We're not brokers. We're not finders. We're not attorneys. Let's see if we can get into Zoom. Uh, so we can let some people in. And my account. All right. Let's see where we are. And webinar. Okay, webinar. And we're Derek Whitehead, 360 CEOs. And Lau. Keep calm, everybody. We are starting soon. Thank you so much. Uh, we will be traveling at 35,000 feet. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Join. And. Oh, yo. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Derek Whitehead, 360 CEOs. We're here to help you get that 100, 200, 300, 400, 500,000, even 600,000, even 700,000. Even a million dollars from the bank. Hey, how you doing? Miss Richardson, how you, how you doing? How you doing, Vanessa? Good to see you. Uh, greetings. Thank you. What we want to learn today and what we're going to try to teach you today is how to get those secrets, the stuff that they don't teach you on the internet. One, two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars. That's fine. But I tricked you because I want to take you to the next level and be able to get you not a hundred thousand, two, three, four, five hundred thousand, but a million, five million, ten million. Why not? Why not? So don't let the numbers fool you. Don't let the numbers scare you because it is totally available to you. All right. Next slide. What I want everybody to do is I want everybody out there on TikTok, Instagram, uh, Facebook or wherever you are. I want you to grab a pencil and a paper. Grab a pencil and a paper because I'm going to be talking about some things you probably never heard before. And uh, I also want you to be courteous because nobody here is left behind. No one here is left behind. We go through life all through life. And all of a sudden we wind up here together. We will not get this time back. So I want you to make sure that you write this stuff down because you. I don't want you to say, oh, what did he say? But I also need you to be courteous. Because there's some things you may say, ah, eh, this is baby stuff. I know this. What is a credit score? I know that. So get to the real teaching. I don't want you to say that because at one point you didn't know what that was. Now, so we need to be able to make sure everybody else knows what that is. All right. Uh, hey, Mr. Whitehead, I'm excited. I'm excited, too, because <laughs> I don't have a life. All I do is sit here. And do this. I make a take take companies public in the morning, private equity in the morning, get people millions of dollars. And then I sit in this little room somewhere in this house, in this room, and then I hop on here. Well, it's not such a little room, but it, but you know, I go in there and I hop on here so that I can teach you. And this is my fun. All right. So I want you to make sure you teach your children and uh let's get it rocking. So you got your pencil and paper. What I want to do is is I want to tell you. A little about me. People say, who the hell are you? It's part of my language. It may be children out there. So who the heck are you? Right. 
I'm not going to be like everybody else can come on here talking about, oh, I was poor. Now I'm rich. OK, look at my watches. Look at my cars. We're not going to do all that. You didn't come here to hear about me. You came here to hear about you. You came here to see how you can get that money. How you can take care of your kids and take your kids to another level so they don't have to go through what we went through. All right. And if you're born with a silver spoon or, or a silver spoon, I want to try to show you how to get a gold spoon. All right. So hang in there. I'm going to say a little bit about me and then we're going to move on about five things because people say, well, who are you? So, OK, real quick. And I'm on a timer here. So we're going to have to go quick. All right. They got me on a timer. <laughs> all right. So now. Derek Whitehead, CEO of Alpha Incorporated, 30 years in business, high in banking. I've managed over 20.2 billion under management. Under management, Dale, don't let that fool you because the people that I hang around, right, they tell me to go get donuts because 20 million billion is baby money to them. If you look into something that's called uh, a, capitaliz a capitalization, you'll find that a small capitalization in high finance is $25 billion. Let me say that again, $25 billion. So that's a baby, all right? So when I say, oh, ah, Mr. White, manages manages $20.2 billion. That, no, I want to show you how to go and get that million, billion. And that's baby money because the money is unlimited. All right? So let's talk a little bit about uh, who I am, CEO, 30 years of business, high in banking, 20 billion under management, boom, boom, MTNs, market traded notes. Next slide. I'm not going to talk a whole bunch about me. All right. All right. So some of the people that I've been around and some of the people that I've helped in all of this and that. Uh, Derek Whitehead, funded and helped politicians, congressmen, athletes, entrepreneurs to scale the companies, the multi-million dollar businesses. Over there, you'll see a guy named Coutinho Mobley, right? He's on our page, economicmasonry.com, saying, Thank you, Derek, for all you teach me. He played for the Houston Rockets. He played for the L.A. Clippers. He played with Shaq and Kobe and all those guys, right? Uh, he played the big three, in fact. He won the uh, the uh, winning shot for the big three two years ago with uh, Ice Cube and, and LL Cool J and all them back and that stuff. So he's a very, very cool guy, smart guy. And uh, we have, he says, thank you for all that you teach me. All right. Look for him on our Instagram on our website on uh, economicmasonry.com 360 CEOs. Over there is the lovely Shante Moore, right? She is a beautiful singer, right? Um, outrageous singer. And uh, you can look her up. She's a very, very beautiful and talented person and myself. Over here is uh, Shirley. Uh, she is the Secretary of State, the lady with the hat on. That's the, the Secretary of State, of, of State, Dr. Shirley Weber. Dr. Shirley Weber and myself in the tuxedo, and over there is uh, Kimberly Ellis in the white and myself in tuxedo. Kimberly Ellis ran for the uh, uh, the president of the Democratic Party. Can you believe that? The president of the Democratic Party. She ran for the president of the Democratic Party. That's the person that says, here, you want some money so that you could be uh, Congress or whatever you want to be. I give you a little, little bit of money. You don't win. I get a lot. You win. OK, that's a powerful, powerful thing over there and myself. Uh, down there is a congresswoman and myself in the tuxedo. Over there is a guy in the middle that said president, a guy that had uh, uh, he was president. He was a uh, counsel for two presidents with the red tie. Now, let me tell you a little about the red tie. So the red tie is like this. Back in the day, you know, business is the art of war. Anybody that's read that book, The Art of War, business is about war so back in the day they had a defender right so that defender would say oh we have a disagreement right they had a prosecutor and a defender right that would take care of the king's affairs and they would dress up and they would pull out their swords and fight <laughs> all right over business and, and territories and so they didn't want a, they, a slash to the neck would be it Right. So they wrap their necks up. If you ever notice the people in the old days got their necks all wrapped up all the way to the top, wrap their necks up all the way to the top and wrap them up real tight. So look at pictures of George Washington, George Washington, all those guys back in the day. Necks wrapped up real high. So now, since business has become a little less uh, barbaric, right now, people still have the same understanding that my neck needs to be protected because business is war. Right. It is not checkers. It is chess. 
All right. So uh, nowadays they wear the high collar shirt and then they put the tie on as extra padding to protect the neck. And they wear the red tie so that uh, they can say who's the firstborn. So whoever would be into twins, they didn't know who was the firstborn that was the inheritor of all. So they tied a red thing around his foot, the firstborn, so they could red ribbon to know who is the firstborn, right? So that's why you see Trump and all these people like myself wearing the red tie, all right, to protect your neck. And I'm the firstborn and the inheritor. So just a little bit of information for you, right? So when we're going to do business, we have to understand that business has rules. Business has rules. So you don't show up in a football game with a tennis outfit on. OK, because if you show up talking about one love with your little outfit on your little your little white outfit, tennis racket, one love. Guess what? You know what's going to happen? Somebody's going to tear you up because they don't say one love in football. They say tear him up. All right. So we got to make sure I like that. Right. My little cowboy hat. Somebody got the little cowboy hat on me. Sweet. All right. So. I don't care if you got a cowboy hat on me or a dunce cap on me. What's coming out my mouth ain't going to be stopped. <laughs> All right. So check this out. The red tie uh, is to indicate the firstborn. Right. Now, uh, that's the guy who was counsel for two presidents and myself. Over there is Taisha Brown and a congresswoman. Who's Taisha Brown? Taisha Brown is of San Diego. Look her up. She is. Uh, she helps people get elected like Congress and senators and all that. Very powerful woman, uh, backdoor woman like me, backdoor guy, right? And so uh, I know there was a there was a, a song called I'm the Backdoor Man. I don't mean that, <laughs> right? All right, so so that's the great Taisha Brown and myself. Uh, you got three red ties. That's what I'm talking about to get a fall for because you, we go, we, we're going to get this money. So we need a red tie for every daggone day. You see Trump wears that red tie and wears it long, all the way down to his knees there, right? He said, I'm the, first, I'm the inheritor. Okay, so uh, uh, I'm getting some. Okay, okay right on. <laughs> all right. Um, so down at the bottom is Mr. Carnitas. Mr. Carnitas is the, is the president of the Mexican Union. Mex imagine that. He says, stop. They stop. He says, go, go. He's the president of the Mex. He said, I don't have to tie my tie. Right. <laughs> I said, yes, sir. I understand. <laughs> All right. So down at the bottom is uh me, Taisha Brown, and uh the guy with the red tie, two uh council for two presidents. Over to the right, the man shaking my hand is a congressman. Uh I spoke at the Democratic Party. I spoke to those people there twice. And um, as you can see, he got his Congress pin on. And uh, in, uh, once he gets a hold of your hand, like he's shaking mine, and everything's over, and he got his wine, you ain't getting away from that man. He's like, oh, you, you know us friends with the Kennedys. That's right, a good family. Yes, sir, I understand that. Yes, sir. <laughs> good man, great representative. Uh, over there are two guys. They said, Derek, do not say my name. But uh, I said, can I show your face? They said, sure. But if I told you who those guys were, you'd be like, and what their company is, you might say, what? Well, yeah. So they came down, flew in their little jet. Um, they flew in their little Learjet down into my office on 7th and B in San Diego. 7th and B on the 34th floor in the Symphony Hall building. And uh, nobody is too big to say hello. All right. So the only time people don't want you to know where they are is when they're doing something they ain't supposed to be doing. All right. So we're down at Symphony Hall at 7th and B in the University Club, and you have to be invited to be there. So I'm happy to be invited. We have the Court of Appeals over on top of us. And uh, a lot of people go there, senators and congressmen to do deals. And I'm very happy to be a part of it. Um, so we down there and uh, we help people go public and uh, we take people private equity. And uh, it's a beautiful thing. Right. So. I had a couple of uh, students come down uh, and meet me down there one time. And they said, Mr. Whitehead, we came down to see you. I said, well, I don't live there. You got to let me know you coming. Right. So they finally came down and, and uh, we posted that on the Internet and they came down and uh, and I took them to my home and we uh, we ate. And then I took them up to the ranch. We did some shooting 
Uh, we uh, uh, went out to dinner. We had a great time. I put him on the phone with a couple of, of uh, basketball players that they, that uh, uh, I helped, and uh, they had a great time, grand time. Um, so over there, the last but not least, is my brother Witherspoon. Witherspoon is a great guy. You've probably seen him on uh, um, some of those shows such as uh, Fridays, and they call him Pops, you know, bang, 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 you know, Pops, right? Um, wonderful guy, great guy, uh, great friend, and he has since passed away. So um, that is a wonderful guy, wonderful guy. So hats off to you, brother, and uh, God bless you. All right, next slide. Enough about me. We're not going to talk a whole bunch about me because we didn't come here to talk about me. You came here to talk about you, all right, and how you can get that money. We're not going to play around. We're going to go from A to Z. We're economicmastery.com, 360 CEOs. We are not brokers. We're not finders. We're not attorneys. We are not tax people. We are not even funders. If you need any of those people, please go for, uh, please check those people out. Now, what we are are consultants. That's what we are. We are consultants. And we believe that we you all are friends. So since we think that everybody on here is a friend, we can continue to give this information freely from our perspective to you. All right. And we will continue to do that. All right. Somebody said explain the CFPB. All right. So that's uh, somebody that you shut down when you're trying to fix your credit. All right. So you shut them down and uh, you shut down some some of the um, uh, places like uh, Lexus Nexus and all that. Shut them down so they have no place to check. OK, because they don't check with the original creditor. Most of the time they check with Lexus Nexus and pay uh, uh, Sage Stream. That's where they hold your inquiries. All right. But please hold all your questions until later. This is free. All that stuff on the Internet is free. And uh, we're going to have question and answers also. All right. So hold your questions until question and answer time. And uh, let's rock and roll. Next slide. All right. So what we want to do is, is get you seed money, foundation, capital, and springboard funding. Let me say that again. Okay. I'm going to start talking kind of fast because they got me on a timer. So we want to go Credit corporation funding. We want to get seed money, foundation capital, springboard funding. All right. So I want to show you just a little bit about the foundation of what we're doing. Right. The foundation of it all is. Is the United States is a corporation. OK, so since the United States is a corporation, guess what? We're talking about funding a corporation. The United States is a corporation. The, it's look it up in Delaware. And look and see, the United States was formed in Delaware as a corporation, right? So all this corporate backdoor st stuff going on, and we don't know about it? Well, it's time to learn about it, right? All right, so United States is a corporation. The states are corporations. The cities are corporations, unless they're very rural. Unless they're very rural. And you are a corporation. They made you a corporation, an entity. Corp is an entity. You're an entity. So they made you a corporation. So what we want to understand is, is that... The United States, when they formed this corporation thing, they made their own straw man. The corp is the straw man. So we don't have to go out and pull ourselves out of the system. We don't have to do any of that because the forefathers and people beyond them have already put, have already figured out we're going to have something that we own and we don't control. We don't own nothing. We control the corp and we don't own anything. That's our straw man. All right. So that's what we want to learn today. So if you don't believe you're a corporation, turn over your social and look at your corporate number on the back. Right. All right. So uh, you need to own your own straw man. That's going to be your corporation. You don't need to become sovereign. You know, if that's something you like, that's great because those are the rules. But we don't need to reinvent the wheel. We don't really need to do any of that. All we got to do is is not hate the game, not hate the player. Learn the game and become a player. How about that? All right. So we want to own nothing and control everything. All right. Next slide. We want to get seed money, foundation capital, and springboard funding. Seed money, foundation capital, springboard money. 
so you can boom go to the moon and there's levels to this thing so i want everybody in there to hang in there so we can start learning about these levels not fifty thousand a hundred thousand two hundred thousand what about a million what about a hundred million is that possible of course it is all right you just have to learn the secrets of how to do it so step one everybody ready for step one i want you to grab your pencil and your paper and let's get in to rocking and rolling all right, so step one, credit. In credit, you're going to fund a corporation. The corporation, uh, let's see right here. Derek, can you go upstairs and grab me a corporation out the room in there? If Derek is still here. <laughs> well, I may have to do this without a corporation. Uh, so... Uh, go up in that first room, first door, back to the back. Walk straight back and grab the corporations and the book. All right, because I need to show you guys. A, all right, I need to show you guys examples of corporations so that everybody can see. Nobody teaches you about corporations online. So I need you to see exactly what they look like. All right. Yes, sir. We didn't get the book, huh? We didn't get the big book. This book or different? Oh, no, no. Straight back in that room back there. Up those way up, up, up the stairs. That room, there you go. Straight on back. Yep. Go back to the closet. Pull out one of the, pull out a couple of corporations and the big book. So we can show everybody what those corporations look like. Thank you. All right. So. Uh, where are we at? We want to make sure that we understand what a good PG is. What's a PG? A personal guarantor. That's what a PG is. All right. So step one, credit, credit corporation funding. We're going to get credit, then get the corporation and then get funding. That's how we're going to do it. Right. So the first thing is we need to be a good PG. What's a PG? A PG is a personal guarantor, a personal guarantor. That means they're going to say, Who's going to get the money? They're going to say, I'm going to get the money, right? They're going to say, you're going to say, they're going to say, you're going to, going to get the money. And you're going to say, no, I'm not going to get the money. Fooled you. What we're going to say is, who's going to get the money? You're going to say, Willie Corporation is going to get the money. Willie is going to get the money. And they're going to say, okay, then who's going to pay us back? You're going to say, Willie Corporation's going to pay you back. And they're going to say, well, since you're not using any documentation and we're going to go in with no doc. All right. No documentation and stated income. So they're going to say, who's going to pay us back? You're going to say, Willie Corporation is going to pay you back. They're going to say, who's going to guarantee you're going to pay that we get our money back because you're not. And Willie's not giving us any documentation. You're going to say, I am going to guarantee you get your money back. So that's a personal guarantor. All right. So. This is a corporation that's used to get money. It's to get money. It is not used to do business. We need to start thinking the right way. All that stuff that you learned on the internet, I want you to take the red pill and erase all that stuff. I want you to say, oh, you take the red pill and be, I want a Nebuchadnezzar. Oh, the, oh Morpheus. <laughs> that's what I want you to do. All right. Forget about all that junk that you've been learning on the internet. All right. So right now, this is a corporation. You don't go and pay for products with a corporation. How do you pay for products? With negotiable instruments, with money. So you need to get the corporation not to do business or you will be working and working forever trying to save up some money. You get the corporation, do it the right way and go in and get some money. Don't be running around like the puppy chasing his tail and around and around looking for money. Go in. There's a there's a money machine that has money floating all over the place. When the money starts going, you go in and get grabbed some with this corporation. Now, why would they give you the money? Because if you if you go to the bank and you borrow a thousand dollars, right? Do you know the, the bank has ten thousand dollars? They have nine thousand more than they lent you. So they're helping the corp and you're helping them. It's it's a double, it's scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. In fact, you're helping them get more money than they're helping they're giving to you. 
So that's why they want to give you that money. But you have to know the rules. So this is a corporation. This is what? A special purpose entity. Is it an entity, a person, corpse, body, lack? So this special purpose entity is going to get you the money because that's what you're going to use to get the money. All right? Now, guess what? Now that we have the corporation, we need to understand what the corporation is and how it, what it looks like, and we're going to explain in a minute. So the next thing is you need to fix your personal credit. So I ask people, I say, what's your personal credit like? They say, my FICO is this. My FICO is a 760. I don't. I didn't ask you what your what your score is, right? They don't say the FICO. In fact, you know what they say? They say my score. My score is my score, and I want to know. I want to know what your FICO is. Okay, so pardon me, I misspoke. I want to know what your FICO is, right? So the FICO is what's important when you're funding the corporation. The FICO. So let's talk about the FICO real quick. The FICO consists of whatever your driver's license, whatever name that's on there. That's what's supposed to be on your on your credit report. Whatever one name, if your name is John Harris, it should not be John J. Harris or Harris J. Those are what they call aliases. And they will bring your score down, down, down when they start to see it. I'm telling you from a banking position, if you want money, learn the rules. From a banking position. Now, my job was to ground and teach these guys. So I'm not making this stuff up. Okay. So now the next is uh, on your driver's license, whatever's on your driver's license, what they're going to be looking at. So one name, one address, don't come with many different addresses. Okay. On there, you should have one address because if, if you have too many addresses, it's going to look like you have a bunch of, you're, you're unstable. And so every time you have more than one address, more than one name, you're going to look like you're unstable. You move around a lot and they don't like that thing is I want you to make sure that when you go and get your address with a corporation, I want to make sure that you get the highest zip code that you can get the highest zip code that you can get. Did you know that when you go in and get a corporation from banking or from banking point of view? If you have an address that's in the hood, you're not going to get any money because they call that a high risk area. But if you go to Beverly Hills, you get the most money. OK, why? Because that's a low risk area. And if you call in between, then you're going to in between money. So which one do you want? You want the high end money or the low end money? So look for the highest zip code. A lot of people tell you on the Internet, they say, oh, go get your address. Well, guess what? Not just get your address. Did they tell you the rest of it? You need to get the highest zip code that you can find when you get your address. Okay. And that will help you. So now with your ass on your ID, personal, you want to get the address, have your ass, uh, uh, one address, not a bunch of addresses. Okay. Or you look stable. Next thing I want to say is, is stop going in saying that I stayed there for six months. I'm not saying lie, but the bank likes uh, six months or more. So you should be two years where you are. That gives you stability. So if you're not there for two years, then guess what? You start going down in points and I'm not advocating lying. I'm just saying to you, these are the rules. Take it how you want to take it, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So we want to make sure you have name, address, and then no more than no more than three inquiries. If you have more than three inquiries, it's not like you're personal and they'll start giving you <laughs> yeah, put it where you want, right? <laughs> Dr. Vanessa. <laughs> hey, it's my phone number show. Uh, I don't know. I can't see the phone number. Okay, so the next thing is, is make sure you have no more than three inquiries. Okay? No more than three inquiries. Anything after three inquiries, inquiries, when you're funding a corporation, you're not getting the money. Okay? Now, is you want to make sure you don't have uh, uh, no less than a $10,000 trade line. A $10,000 trade line. Because if you have less than a $10,000 trade line, banks tend to match whatever they've already given you. Right. And there's ways of getting that. Right. Next thing is we want to make sure that you don't have 
uh, less than five bureaus, five trade lines. If you don't, they call that a thin file and they are taken away. You only have approximately 50 points to go down. Personal funding, 100 points. Business, 50 points. That's not very much to go down, down, down. That's why you're not getting any money on corporations because you're psh, 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 going all the way down, right? So we want to make sure that you don't go down step at the top. Uh, how much does Shelf Corp course? Uh, we're doing question and answers. We're going to go through the Shelf Corps and we're going to go into that area, okay? Now, uh, but you don't need us. You don't need us. This is free, all right? So we're going to tell you where you can go to get Shelf Corps if you want to get them. Uh, you can get them through us. You can go get them through wherever, right? So we'll go through that. Uh, next thing is you want to make sure that you have no uh, negatives, no, derogor no derogatories, no uh, plates, no collections, none of that stuff. And there's ways of getting that off. Okay, like for instance, you go and you say, I got these, uh, you know, these uh, medical bills on there. Well, guess what? You can remove medical bills You can uh, because under the HIPAA law, they're saying to you, guess what? Under the HIPAA law, you cannot put that on my report unless I give you permission because that's my personal health. Nothing about your health. So there's ways to do all these things, right? Uh, so, okay, the next thing is we want to make sure that you have a good FICO, a good FICO. All right, next slide. All right. So the so next thing is you got your credit together. Uh, that's simple, simple, simple Simon stuff. Simple. You can handle that. If you need somebody to help you out with that, give us a call or not. You get call anybody. I just want you to know what you need to know. All right. They don't teach you this stuff on the Internet. Right. So I need to find out what are they not teaching on the Internet. I can come in over my 30 years of knowledge and tell you what I think that you need. Right. So you can succeed. Now, un understand this. Teach your ch children. If you do not teach your children, shame, you've wasted my time and you wasted your time. Because my first priority is to for the children to learn and make this place a better place. Right. So, uh, you know, I could go off and run off to some some place where it's cheap and live like a king. Right. But I want you to learn this stuff. That's my priority. Seriously. All right. So the next thing is, is structure your corporation. A corporation is not to do business. I explained that to you. It is not to do business. It is to get money first. Once you get money, then you can do business and you can hire people so you don't have non-performance income. We don't sing. We don't dance. We don't run up a foot down a football field. We don't do none of that. That's over, 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 over. Unless we love what we're doing. We don't do it because we need the money. All right. Because the money is free. All right. So we want to make sure that we understand that and we get to get ourselves uh, uh, a corporation so that we can start out, out and we're not responsible for things. The corporation is. Got it? Now. A lot of times we need we don't understand that it's not the money that we have. It is the value of the corporation. Oprah don't have five billion dollars under her uh, in her closet. It won't fit. Right. Bezos does not have a hundred billion dollars in Amazon. You know, and it won't fit. So all these people run around showing you all this cash, all this money. The bank don't much about no cash because money can be spent um, Forty million dollars can be spent in cash if you got cash, right? On on a jet, and it's gone, it's gone, and the bank knows that. So guess what? They care about the the value of your corp. So the corp has a valuation. Now let's go over that. The corp has a corporate valuation. All right. So here's a corporation, right? Here. Good standing letter. This went backwards. Let's go over here. So here, corporation, good standing letter. What is a good standing letter? A corp is a person. Latin. We want to learn Latin. So corp is a person. So what we want to do is, is understand with this person, if the police run you, your background and find you don't have any warrants or anything, you're in good standing, right? Well, this is a good standing letter. 
as a person corporation is a good standing letter. The thing with the seal on it over here is articles of incorporation. Boom. What is that? That is this birth certificate that, that says this is who I am. Where I came from uh, and all that. Right. It says and I will abide by the laws of the state or any other, other laws that are applicable. All right. Right. And it also says that I have a valuation of zero. Zero par value. That means I have no value. So you build the value in. So how are you going to do that? You're going to get credit lines. You're going to get uh, lines of credit. You're going to installment lines. You're going to get annualized loans. You're going to get a mid account loans. You're going to get, uh, you know, move money, M7, M3s, all that. you right. All the M's. Right, you're gonna get Everclear. We're going high class, okay? We're not talking escrow, we're talking Everclear. All right, look that up. We want to go high class, high end. We want to move a hundred million dollars, right? Okay, and then invest that, invest that, invest that, invest that, and then pass it on to our children, okay? And then we let them run it while we sit back, <laughs> give them something to do, right? That's their job, okay? So, we want to make sure we understand the corporation good standing letter. Boom, I'm not in trouble. Over here, articles. So we're going to make those, we're going to make that par value very high. We're going to change it from zero par value into enormous value, right? That's what the, the bank loves. So they know that we'll keep growing and keep getting more and more credit. United States, 40 trillion in debt, but they use credit. They don't let credit use you. You don't let credit use you, you use credit. Got it? All right. So there's a difference in getting a $10,000 credit card, going shopping, and then coming back and being in debt and taking a $10,000 credit card with no interest on it and making some money and go shopping. That's how you use credit. Don't let credit use you. So take the... All right. So now we want to talk about corporate structure. What is the corporate structure? The proper structure? Let's go in this. They got me on a timer, so I'm going fast. I'm going to speed it up. I want everybody to pay attention, all right? So we want to do the seven structure. Seven, right? And then T, and then D, B, A's. As many as you want. So as you can see that, I don't know if everybody can see that, that is a seven structure, right? Nobody's going to show you the seven structure because you ain't supposed to know. All right, so right here is the C Corporation. Banks don't like... LLCs, and you got your LLC. God, I've been had my LLC. Where you got your A? Trail, I've been had my got an LLC five years ago, right? Okay, no, <laughs> all right, that means limited liability corporation. So, we want to have the proper structure. So, a C Corp is the mama. So, let's go over for this the C Corp. Get then we want to go in from the C Corp. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> hey, look, I don't have a life. This, this is fun for me. This is my fun, fun time. <laughs> All right. C Corporation. When you take the C Corporation, what you do is you're going to put, put everything in the C Corporation underneath as DBA, doing business as. And you can have as many of those as you want, right? Then you go back up to the C Corporation. You got to protect your money. Who's showing you on the internet how to protect your money? First of all, they're showing you how to get 50, 100,000. Okay, great. That's baby money, right? But baby money is better. So we want to make sure we go in and get that seed money, but we also want to protect it. It's harder to keep it than it is to get it, right? Mike Tyson, $400 million. $400 million. On because nobody taught him. He kicked your behind, but he could not go on to the money, right? So he, he got older. Luck for him, he ran into a good woman, right? A woman can work wonders in your life, boy. <laughs> All right. So he ran into a good, good woman, and now he's back, back on top. You go, Mike. All right. So, uh, but now he's learning how to protect his money and how to do things right with the money. So God bless me. Mike. So we want to make sure we hold on to the money and protect it. You're not going to go in and build a house with no windows, no door, nothing, not protect your, your assets, right? 
Okay, so we want to show we have a holding court. Everything that belongs, a letter that written to the holding court. Everything that belongs to us, everything that we have belongs to you, holding court. Have it notarized, put it in your book of minutes, that's your files, and now you are protected. Because if they sue the C-Corp or the DBA, everything, the assets, you can kill the court, but you can't take the money. Got it? All right, right. now we're going to go from there. That's veil. Now we want to do a super veil because we're going after that big money, right? So we want to protect the big money. So what we're going to do is have the holding court go in and put that into a trust, either in the United States jurisdiction or outside the United States. Now that's a super veil. You now a woman has a veil over her face. You can hardly see her, right? That's the temptation. That's the thing. That, like the less you see, the more you want, right? Well, that's what the court's doing, all right? So you want to make sure you have a super veil so protect yourself. So now we understand the proper structure. Now we want to understand that the difference between corporations, nobody is explaining this. I've looked around. Okay. The, the, the difference in corporations is going to be LLC, S corporation, C corporation, profit, and foundation. Those are the basic five. You have many, many types of corporations. You have syndicates. You have all kinds of corporations, right? But these are your basic five, right? Now, so let's explain those. LLC, right? You got your LLC. God, I've been had my LLC. How long you had an LLC? Now, let us help you get your LLC with a few clicks. You're just a few clicks away of having a business. You can get no money, but you can have an LLC. Call us today. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. All right. Let's explain the LLC. Let's say you're sitting at the, uh, you're sitting somewhere at a uh, gas station. You stand at a gas station and you say, you know, pumping the ladies' gas for her, trying to be nice and everything. You know, and so you're saying, we for an hour, you know, I think we have a lot of synergy. You know, you know, we have a lot of energy and synergy together. You know, we exchange numbers. You know, uh, would you want to take down each other's numbers? Yeah. Well, sure, okay. Right? Really talking to a guy, a man, a woman. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking to, right? So they say, okay. And then what happens? Then you say, okay. Uh, but I want to be totally honest with you. you. Say, I like that. What What are you talking about? She got the phone out. You say, listen. Um, she say, what? You say, I'm limited. She looking at you like this. What you limited? What you mean? You? She looking at you like this. What do you mean you limited? <laughs> what you limited, right? So you saying, he said, okay, and I got some more to tell. You know how they are, right? Tell me everything, right? So you like, okay, well, I, I also, I got liability. So she's looking at you like, you limited liability. What What you got an ankle brace on? Your, your, your my baby mama with the police after you? What you talking about? Then she's going to say, oh, uh, I forgot I got to pick my baby up from school. You're like, well, baby, it's 1030 at night. You, well, he's in night school, but you see, was six. She's <laughs> like, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's like, wait a minute, hold on. She's like, oh, I, I, I'll see you around. I'll see you. I'll see you. I'll see you. <laughs> That's what will happen to you when you walk into a, a talking about I'm limited. I got liability. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> All right. So you can walk in, you get some money. Right? If people say, I got funded with an LLC, but it's limited. Can you private equity? It's levels to this thing. Can you go in and get private equity? Can you go in and get, uh, you know, uh, a couple of million? Can you go in and get, make it a billion dollar company? Can you go public? No. Because you're limited. Limited liability is for like things that are risky. Things like uh, trucking, things like uh, like doctors. A doctor is a limited liability corporation or a limited liability partnership, right? So if you operate on somebody and you mess up, you say, I'm suing you, you messed up. Look, you can sue me, but you ain't get nothing from me. I'm a limited liability corporation or truck. You know how serious trucks are? You know what a truck, but thank you, 
truckers for being responsible. You hardly ever see trucks in in, in, in Abla with a problem. They either sitting on the side of the road sleeping, you know, or somewhere, you know, in a truck stop somewhere doing what they do, right? You know, but you hardly ever see them in trouble, right? So uh, hats off to trucks. Without trucks, we wouldn't have nothing. No food, no nothing. So um, this for likely things, like a construction worker. Hey, man, I walk by the truck. The, the site fell on my head. I'm suing you. Well, I'm life bonded, insured, and I'm limited liability. Nothing for me. All right. So have, have fun. Waste your time. Right. So that's what an LLC is for. Or for real estate to move things. LLCs can move things easily without moving your name around. You put the property in the LLC. And then guess what? After you put the property in the LLC, you don't have to switch your name on and off title. You just sell the corp with the property in it. And take your name off the court, put theirs on. All right. That's a good way with real estate. So we also help out with real estate. Uh, you know, a little little bit about real estate, you know. Uh, so if you have any questions about real estate, let me know and we'll answer those in question and answers. All right. Now, uh, the next thing is is an S Corp. S Corp says, Hey man, I made some money, you know, I hit the lottery, I want to invest in your company. Let's go, man. Let's 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 man. Let's break bread. Well, listen. I don't want to be a part of your company. I just want to invest. I don't want to be. I don't want that capital gains. I don't want to be a part of all that. Look, I got the perfect thing. I got an S corp. That's what that's for. So that's what that's for. All right. So we got a C corp. Dun, 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 dun. I love my C. I love my C corp. C Corp, right? See how it shines. See, shine, starlight, right? This is a C Corp. So the C Corp is the mama of corporations. If you go in and you get a, build a six inch, uh, six inches of concrete on a one story house. And now you say, she's, you say, honey, let's build a second story now. She, she says, no, babe, we can't do that. You say, why not? Because it's, it won't hold two stories. You should have built that on 12 inches of concrete. You're like, damn, damn, damn. <laughs> so we don't want you going through that, right? <laughs> so C Corporation. C Corporation is a monster. C Corporation is not an LLC, not a limited liability corporation. <laughs> All right? C Corporation has these things in it. Boom, stock papers, stock papers. And you know how much this book costs? $125. Online, a corporate book, $125. So why don't we understand this stuff? Who's going to teach you all this on the internet for free? Nobody. Nobody. But I am. So now, here is a corporate book. And here inside this book, a friend of mine named Kyle Freeman, who said to me a long time ago, took his company public. He's a part of us. He said, man, Derek, man, that's like a license to print money. I said, what? He said, yeah, man, it's like a license to print money. It's the best kept secret. I said, really? So you get the book and guess what? You have your corporate seal, just like the president, right? You have your corporate stamp. Just like the president. Look at this stamp, beautiful stamp. I love my corporation. Well, I don't love the corporate because something I want to say to you. Don't fall in love with the business because the business cannot love you. It's an inanimate object. It cannot love you. You fall in love with a person or a cat or a dog, something that can hit, lick your wounds when you feel bad. Okay? A corporation... Uh, a, a, a car, uh, a business cannot love you back. We own a car dealership, two of them in San Diego, Primo Auto and Prime Auto, 6920 Miramar Road. We can uh, sell you a Honda, Nissan, or Toyota. On Primo Auto, we sell you a, a, Roll, a, a BMW, Mercedes, or Bentley, 6920 Miramar Road, San Diego, California. Right? Plug, plug. <laughs> now, we have this corporation which i like very much can't love something that can't love you back and 
I'm having a hard time getting this thing out of here. It must not want to come out. Okay, so here is corporate stamp. And then you have your corporate seal that you do with your corporate stamp. Okay, and where do, what do you stamp? You stamp one of these that, that says, I have a corporation and with a private place random and this piece of paper that says, I am issuing you some shares, not stock, not a piece of your business, just this. And I'm going to give you this and I'm going to give this to a transfer agent. They're going to transfer it to the person that's giving you the money. And then they're going to put that money to the transfer agent. And then they're going to go in and put money in your bank account so you can grow your business. How beautiful is that? So while we run around looking for money, Run around looking for Section 8 government cheese, right? Go out and get a court and get your cheese and go get some real cheese. Okay, so sometimes people are afraid of new knowledge, right? But you was you were afraid when you hopped in that car to get on the freeway the first time, right? But now you're on the daggone freeway putting on your makeup, turning the music, and <laughs> all right. So 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 knowledge takes away fear. So I'm trying to give you the knowledge that you can get your family millions of dollars and just go get money. All is working and working and working. All is working because our mamas and daddies and all of all those people taught us that's the way it should be. When the upper echelon says, really? So we have to change our thought pattern. All right. So use one of these. Check this out. You can do that with a C. Corp, you can't do that with an LLC because it's limited. This don't have limits. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Some real cheese. That's right. Some real cheese. All right. Who is that? SpongeBob. SpongeBob. <laughs> All right. So we want to go in, use this thing, but there's levels to things. So we're going to first go in and go get that seed money. We get that seed money. Then we're going to hop into private equity where people just do money okay who's telling you this on the internet nobody all right so now we're going to go out and get our c corporation then after you get c corporation then what are you going to do now you're going to go and take your company public how do you do that that's easy i got i want everybody to know this check this out does anybody on here know what Trump just did? Donald Trump just did. I'm not a I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican, right? I'm an independent because I know some people need tax breaks like me, and some people need a hand up, not a hand out, just a hand up. That's right. Who said that? Donald Trump just went public, and do you know within three days? With this C corporation and doing what I just told you, he made three billion dollars. You want me to say that? Again? Let me take the glasses off so you can so you don't get distracted. Donald Trump went in, right? Let me put the cross eyes on you so you can really get it. Donald Trump went in, he went public and made three billion dollars. Does that strike a bell with you? Would you like to have $3 billion? You can, you can go in. Some people talk about a season eight shelf corporation. What about, what about a, a shell? Everybody, a lot of people talking about a season eight shelf, but we talking about stuff that they ain't talking about. That's my job. If they was talking about everything I was talking about, I wouldn't be on here. But they need to start teaching us this. You can learn this in high school, grammar school. Teach your children. All right. So now, if you go in and you take your company public, you could take a publicly traded company. Maybe a person got sick. Maybe they got old and they're selling it. And you put that in. That's right. Uh oh, somebody's been listening. Reverse merger. Put your corporation in that, reverse it. Once you put it in there, it's a real way. Reverse merger. Now you're a publicly traded company where the whole world can give you money. Woo, 
Do you know how many people, and this ain't a black and white thing, because guess what? It's only rich and poor today. They don't give a damn about white or black. Care. I don't care if you're green. They only care about, about capital. Understand that. But I'm just going to say this to you. Do you know in 2005, there was 16, there was 16,000 publicly traded companies. 16,000. You know how many were black? 14. 14. Now, in 2024, 2 2 2024, 2 2 2 24, how many publicly traded companies are there today that are black? Six. So, who's teaching you? Nobody. All right, so let's go on and let's get it popping. Let's get up, wake up, stand up, get it popping, get it busy, get it going. You can't stand on the sidelines forever and then complain while your kids are acting up. Here go Mr. Whitehead preaching again. I know, I know, I know. But this is what we get when you come to learn a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of preaching. All right. So, all right, let's get back to it. We want to make sure we understand the LLC. The S Corp, the C Corp, the C Corp is the monster. It can build an Eiffel Tower. It can build the Eiffel Tower. Now, guess what? Next thing is, is a nonprofit. Girl, you got a nonprofit? You got, I, girl, I got me a grant writer. What was your grant writer number? Uh, girl, I, no, um, no, my grant writer, she don't need to give out numbers, you know, right? And, you know, maybe let the ass up if I could give out the number. You know, stop it. There's enough money for everybody, house person, field person. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, girl, like, you got a grant writer? Girl, I've been at I got me a good grant writer. I'm getting me a grant for some. Let me get her number. I can, girl, um, I have to ask her. <laughs> <laughs> right? You, you. <laughs> Who's this guy that got you all this money that helped you? Well, you know, I, you know. Um, girl, I have to look for his number. He's right here on the internet. <laughs> Derek Whitehead. He said, I got to answer. I got I to gotta get you his number. Right? I'll find it, girl. I, when I get it, I'll love it. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> All right. So let's go on. Uh, what is a nonprofit? A nonprofit is not meant for going and go get and this and that. If you make $10 million in your business and then you turn around and you put nine million back in the business, but you don't know what to do that extra nine to avoid these capital gains taxes or not avoid, but help you with capital gains taxes. We don't try to avoid taxes. All right. We do everything that is legal and anything that is legal and that makes sense. All right. That's what we do here. There's no need for fake bank statements, fake this, fake that. No need for that. All right. So. We go in, we say, listen, we got the uh, corporation set up properly. We make a bunch of money, make $10,000. You got to put the money back in. That's what your upside down T. What is that upside down T? Mr. What it was upside. Upside down T is simply this, right? You be back in the business. It grows wider and it grows taller in money or revenue, right? And you grow, put the money back in. And it grows wider and taller and wider and taller. That's the upside down T. We need to know that's how you help yourself with taxes. But when you can't say, I, I done bought all the cars I can get. I done bought all for the business. I done bought everything. I got a million dollars. I don't know what to do with it. Oh, that's what I'm going to start me up a nonprofit and put that money in there. Now you're responsible for 8, 15%. You get the work to 85%. Girl, I got me a grant. It got bigger. Really? Stop it. Now, what's the difference between a, a foundation and a nonprofit? What is the difference? So they, the nonprofit is as such as last spoken, right? Said nonprofit, right? Said nonprofit legally. So now uh, the foundation is also a nonprofit, but the foundation is a bank. 
Why do you think Bill Gates, does Bill Gates have a profit or, or does he have a nonprofit foundation? Bill Gates and his wife, okay, guess what? The Sesame Street has been bought to you by the such and such foundation. Why is that? Ronald McDonald Foundation. Why is that? Because they speak Latin. They took the red pill. They had somebody that paid a lot of money to teach them this. And I'm giving this to you for free. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we want to make sure that we understand that the foundation is a bank. Right. So which one you want? You imagine. You, OK, I tell this story a lot of times like, uh, you know, Sister Johnson, you know, Sister Johnson in the church, you know, so the church collect all this money and then they expand and do what they need to do. Right. All the money in the bucket. But Sister Johnson. Johnson in there, you know, sister Johnson, big Doskin one with the gold too. You know, she got that little afro, you know, a little teeny afro, the curly kid dripping. She's like, you know, you, you know, big woman, right? She cook real good. She got that big fat arm. You know, she cook good, real good, right? <laughs> All right. So, so, you know, a lot of times if you say, hey, man, you going to, uh, you going to the mixer after church, man? Oh man, they got that, uh, they got this band, man. They got a lot of girls, a lot of people going, a lot of guys going to be there. You know, nah, man, I'm not going. Man, where you going? My sister Johnson cooking tonight, but I'm going to sister Johnson. I'm going to get two plates. I'm going to go there and eat two, and then I'm going to take home two plates. Full. I'll marry sister Johnson. You know, she got that big fat arm. She go, oh, don't, don't worry, baby. The colic will be on in a minute. Don't worry, baby. That's okay, sister Johnson. We just sitting here watching the game. Take your time. Don't worry about a thing. We we patient. Don't worry. Okay, the green's gonna be done in a minute. That's okay, Miss Sister John. Take your time. Black peas, collard greens, mustards. Right? You know I'm there. What what else you gonna cook? Okay, look, uh, uh, uh corn, hot water, cornbread. <laughs> Somebody said okra. <laughs> okra. Damn. I ain't had okra in years. Right? Cornbread. Yeah, baby. Yo, look. <laughs> okay, y'all got to stop. Chitlins. Somebody said chitlins. <laughs> they still eat chitlins. <laughs> With the hot sauce all on them, right? <laughs> Baked beans. <laughs> well, look. Y'all got to stop now. Y'all making me hungry. Candied yams. <laughs> Peach cobbler. <laughs> Alicia. <laughs> Sister Johnson comes over at 2 p.m. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. I can't look at y'all comments anymore. I'm on a timer. I got to keep going. Banana pudding. <laughs> Mac and cheese. <laughs> Buffalo fish. What the hell is Buffalo? Buffalo fish. Who is that? James Harrison. James, what the hell? Sweet tea and Kool Aid. No, what about red drink? Sister with that big arm. Man. Oh, yes. I can't. I'm not watching y'all comments no more. I got it. I'm not going to get through this. I, I should never told that story. I love Sister Johnson too, Tony. Fresh snapper. <laughs> what is wrong with these people? <laughs> okay, I ain't tell that story no more. I'm on a timer. <laughs> okay, so look, we have the corporation, right? So, <laughs> okay, so look, <laughs> catfish. <laughs> Farm raised, yeah, right? Catfish, apple pie. Y'all must be hungry. <laughs> you see this? <laughs> I love Sister Johnson. Me too. <laughs> you welcome. You welcome. Look, 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 look. So, so, what's the difference if Sister Johnson? I'm not watching y'all comments. I'm not looking. What? Look, if y'all. <laughs> look. If you guys go in and you see Sister Johnson, let's see, she go, you at the church and she wants to buy a house or a car. Guess what? 
What if the church took all that money and they were a foundation? They could lend the money to Sister Johnson and collect interest like a bank. Do you know how rich the, the, the nonprofits and, and, and all these uh, church would be? Which one you want, the red pill or the blue pill? I'll take red pill. All right. Big neck bones. Y'all better stop. <laughs> Trout out the water. <laughs> Somebody said, shout out the water. <laughs> Red pill, please. That's what I'm talking about. So we need to understand the difference between the corporations and understand how they work and what's going on with them. Next slide. Right. Oxtails. Y'all still going on? <laughs> Somebody said the deep south. <laughs> Real eye fresh. <laughs> oh my God. All right. All right. Dev Steppy, you understand the fashion? You understand step one, credit together, cred corp fund. You understand the corporation structure. Now, next thing we want to talk about is using corporation, right, to get funded. We also want to understand about a season eight shelf corp. The season eight shelf corp, banks don't like rookies. They don't like rookies. They don't like babies. So in order to get money from the bank properly, some good money, you should be at least two and a half tax years. I'm talking fast. I want you to write this down, but two and a half tax years. So at two and a half tax years, uh, that is one year, four months, January to April, not January to December, January to April. So that's two years. January to April, January to April is two years, eight months, rounded off to three years. Don't walk in the bank talking about anything under three years. And guess what? Never go over eight or nine years. Because if you do that, now you have this shelf court walking in talking about Willie is 14 years old. Bank says, well, Willie don't have no, no car. That's, that's like dog age. A 10, 12, 13, 14-year-old corporation is like a 70, 80-year-old person. So the bank's going to say, you ain't nothing in seven years. <laughs> Right. So we ain't giving you no money. So be very careful. They're not going to teach you this on the Internet. People say, get your season eight shelf corporation. But they're going to teach you because people will go in and get these season eight shelf corps that know about them. And they know they're going to get 50,000, 100,000, two, three, five hundred thousand dollars from the bank. Now, there's a place called Wholesale Shelf Corporations. I believe they sell. uh uh, they're like very large. They cannot keep those corps on the shelf. You don't need us. So I'm telling you what to do and where to go. But season eight shelf corporations, they're like a five-year-old corp for like $14,000. So somebody might say, 